Konnichiwa, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my bare minimum or simplest skincare routine. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then please go ahead and channel toroku shite kudasai. Recently, I found myself in a bit of a situation. I tried a new skincare product, well, kind of new. I actually had tried it in the past many years ago, and I actually love so many products from this brand, so I never thought it would happen, but I developed quite a severe allergic reaction. Maybe it's not like super severe, but it is something that I have literally never dealt with before. It was small, tiny bumps bumps all over my skin. It was like really rough textured and even some of the bumps kind of turn into tiny little whiteheads. I have never, literally never had this happen before. I have a fairly tough skin in the sense that I can try most products and I won't really get a reaction. But this is the first time that I've had like a overall face kind of reaction and it's itchy so evidently i had to really pull back and simplify my skincare routine which led to my bare minimum routine so i've been doing this routine for probably two to three weeks and it definitely has improved my skin to the point where the bumps are almost completely gone there is still a little bit of texture on my skin but it's so much better a lot softer and a lot glowier and it has led me to realize that this is all that you need in a skincare routine. This is the bare minimum that you need that your skin will function and stay to be healthy. Once again, if you do want super drastic changes or if there are skin problems or concerns that you want to target, this routine is probably not going to be enough. But if you are someone who's kind of wanting to start on a skincare routine or need a break from all the fancy shit like me, then I do think this will be a perfect routine to go for. Obviously, this is all my opinion. So some people people may have a different definition to what a bare minimum skincare routine may be but this has been working for me and I thought I would share it with you guys today so let's get right into the routine Good morning, you guys. We're going to be starting off with my morning skincare routine. I have just woken up and we're going to start with a cleanse. I'm using the Revectin Marine Micellar Deep Cleansing Water. This is a pretty new product and I only just started using it, but I definitely have been liking it so far. Micellar water is a great option if you do have dry or sensitive skin, since you don't have to go through a full cleanse, because honestly, water can be drying sometimes and it is a super quick and easy way to cleanse in the morning. Of course, the other option would be to go for a more traditional cleanse, like using a gentle foaming cleanser in the morning. It is totally up to you. This Rovectin Micellar Water uses seven layers of hyaluronic acid, so it definitely doesn't leave your skin feeling tight or dry. It is also cruelty free and 100% vegan. I also love these cotton puffs. They're actually the peelable cotton from Muji. I used to not have much use for them because I would only use it when I did like mini sheet masks, but I realized that it's really good for cleansing too because you can cleanse and then peel off a layer of the dirty stuff and then continue to use the cotton. So I have actually loved using this one to remove like eye makeup as well. It's super handy. After cleansing, we're gonna go right into our hydrating step. And yes, you guessed it. I'm using the Hadarabo Gokujun Hyaluronic Acid Lotion in the light version. I have been really enjoying the light version of the lotion since it doesn't have any of that stickiness or tackiness that the more hydrating versions have. So it has been better for now when my skin has been irritated. If you do have oily or kind of normal skin, one layer will probably be enough. But since I do have dehydrated skin i'm gonna go in with a second layer and literally just slap it on i'm just gonna put it all over my face down my neck everywhere and just make sure i'm very well hydrated and while my skin is still damp from the hydrating toner step i'm going to go in with my moisturizer the one i am using is the claire's fundamental water gel cream i did mention this one in my top 2020 skincare video and yes i am almost empty i would say this one is definitely more of a lotion texture versus a cream but i actually love it for that reason since it is super lightweight doesn't leave any stickiness or greasiness on the skin for daytime but still hydrates and moisturizes 
moisturizes my skin very well once again i do like to make sure i apply some skincare on my neck as well to make sure it stays looking young and wrinkle free i guess you could say and lastly of course for our am skincare routine we want to make sure to wear spf so i'm using the can make mermaid skin gel uv i have mentioned this one a couple times recently and it is a recent find for me even though it's been out for a while and i absolutely love it it's a beautiful gel texture that just glides on the skin and it's also a gentle one because it is free from fragrance and alcohol which is kind of hard to find in japanese sunscreen sometimes so i have been loving it recently i know a lot of other people have been loving it too so i'm applying a veni veni <laughs> a very generous amount all over my face and neck and that is it you guys a simple through no th four step four step routine including cleansing for the morning that is all i've been doing for the last couple weeks and honestly i think my skin looks great here <laughs> now switching into my pm skincare routine i do have a full face of makeup on so we're gonna get ready to do a proper cleanse i'm going to quickly rip off my lashes i know a lot of people don't like that but honestly it is the quickest way and i don't find it ever damages my natural lashes for my first step cleanse i'm going to be using the muji oil cleanser i freaking love this one and have mentioned it many times it is a great cleanser oil since it is mineral oil free uses natural oil ingredients like jojoba sunflower seed and olive oil and it removes everything really really well and is a gentle formula too i use the one cleanser to remove everything my face makeup my eye makeup and my lip makeup and i feel like it gets rid of it all very easily and doesn't leave any kind of stickiness or greasiness on the skin due to its light texture once i feel like i have broken everything down i'm going to add some water and emulsify massage it further and then rinse it all off i am going to do this off camera since it can get uh, pretty messy and i'll be right back now this next step is optional and i do only do it when i don't like shower right after cleansing my face but since i am unable to cleanse down to my neck properly i'm just going to take a little bit of the micellar cleanser water on a cotton pad and remove any excess makeup that i might have on my neck as you can see there is definitely some there second step cleanse i'm going to be using another revectin product it is their skin essentials conditioning cleanser i know this one is everywhere and everyone loves it and i think for a good reason it's just such a, a gentle cleanser that is great for dry and sensitive skin it foams up very decently for a gel cleanser and it's just an easy one to reach for it's free from fragrance free from any irritants and it has a fairly low ph so it's just an easy and safe one to go for when your skin is unstable or irritated or if you don't have any skin concerns it is a very simple product that can work for every skin type once the cleanser is rinsed off, I will really gently dab my skin dry. Remember, you don't have to 100% dry your skin when you wash your face. It's actually better to have your skin slightly damp because it allows for the skincare products to absorb better. So while my skin is a little bit damp, I'm going to go in with my hydrating toner lotion again from Hadarabo. I'm going to do the same thing as the morning. And honestly, like the skincare routine is pretty similar to the AM version we just have a proper double cleanse instead of an SPF and once again while my skin is damp still from the toner lotion I'm going to go in with my moisturizer I am using a more heavy duty moisturizer for nighttime it is the real barrier extreme cream now this cream is definitely quite thick so it can be hard to work on the skin and that's why I actually recommend for your skin to still be damp even your hands like make sure your hands and face are slightly damp from the toner lotion and it makes it way easier to spread and apply this cream now real barrier their whole brand actually focuses on strengthening weakened skin barrier which is beneficial for everybody i mean especially for me in the state where my skin is irritated but no matter what your skin type it is always good to really take care of your skin barrier and make sure it is healthy if that is healthy everything else for your skin will fall into place and be healthy overall so definitely keep that in mind when choosing 
different products but that's it that's the whole routine once again um other than the cleansers it's one two two step routine which is very rare for me usually but this routine has truly been working for me and as you can see my skin has recovered very well i only have a little bit of texture and bumps on my skin and i have been pretty happy with these routines so i hope you guys can put it to practice too and there you have it i hope you enjoyed the skincare routine this wasn't actually a video i was planning to do but i saw the results on my face and i was like you know what someone out there might need this as well i will say the only thing that i really suffered from negatively from this routine is that i felt like i started getting a little bit dehydrated around the two to three week mark i naturally have dehydrated skin so i think usually i include serums and masks and stuff that would help with the hydration and since i wasn't doing that my skin felt a little bit tight sometimes after cleansing but besides that honestly all good with my skin nothing else was like kind of out of whack with not using other products anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye